got that bundle. That looks like... Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Akira! He's got him hooked up. Oh! Bridging suplex into those tubes. the police are trying to find out if this is a uh, okay to do this show here oh, no, giving them bottles of water that's awesome there you go see what that's about baby everybody get the fuck along just enjoy the show good job officers trips that leg oh my goodness hooks that head brain buster onto the chair What's going on everyone? Today is, uh, well it's now Monday, uh, June 29th, 2020. I never got a chance to open up my vlog this past Saturday. It was uh, June 27th, 2020, obviously. And I was there for ICW, or I was vlogging for ICW, No Holds Barred, Volume 2, Deathmatch, Drive-In. Uh, it was an awesome time, it was in Atlantic City. Um, and, uh, well, here's the vlog, man. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy it. I finally got my kids to go down. I've been meaning to try to introduce it since yesterday, but I've been out in the recovering on Sunday. And uh, they never fall asleep out here. They actually just fell asleep. The other one's over here. Like, that's a great place to fall asleep, in a pool floating. Right here? Beckham? Not so much. But, yeah, check out the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I had the drone there. All kinds of shit. Thank you, Danny DeMonte, everybody that was there. Uh, just an awesome experience, man. Look forward to another one. There's plenty coming up, man. There's another one coming up this week on the 4th, but you guys won't see this video until then. But anyway, I'm talking too much, but watch the vlog. I love every second. I am the biggest Uncle Charlie fan. Hey guys. I watched it on my TV. Yeah, you time. watched it on your TV. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> John, search me your own. Get back. With him? <laughs> yeah. Isn't this the, is this the merchandise table? You're stacking them now? Yeah. Yeah? You, you Put merch on top of merch for the tall no, no, people? You, you can purchase the bundle of light tubes. Oh, no, how no. much are these? Uh, 
$29.99 for you. No, it's a, it's a fan interaction. Like, we're gonna, like, it's like 20 or 30 bucks. You can jump on top of there and just go through here. Really? Yeah, it's a fan interaction thing. Fuck, let's go. Only like, uh, 10, only like 10 fans out. How like much? 50 bucks a person. Shit, that's a When do you make deal. our money? What? I was taking your book and we're like, oh, 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 no, you're out. Winner by count out. Deal boy! Doltano! Check us! Yeah! I want two with Nick Gage. <laughs> Wanna have a shoot some vision match right now? No. <laughs> Winston in the tennis sky. Bloody the fucking future. <laughs> Oh, I am. I'm, I got this. I got this. I have to. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's over. That's it. Oh, yeah, you are a fuck. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, Dalton? What are you gonna do now, Dalton? Where the fuck did you come from? Where the fuck did you come from? Like ten minutes ago. There you go. Oh shit. Get the title back. Lay me. Lay me. Uh, two on one. Another attack. Oh my god. One, two. Oh no. This is great. Oh, he's running again. <laughs> <laughs> another count out. I got a very good angle of that. He's going for a weapon. <laughs> oh, shit. They're still chasing each other. Oh, that breeze feels so great. Oh, it's over. It's over! <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm a Dilf! Dilf! Boy! <laughs> What's going on right now? He almost knocked himself out and got to get the ring. Here comes the rain, too. You can feel it. Come on, get in there. This is the pre show here. The dark match. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh shit, run it. Need a fucking referee. Need a fucking referee. Oh shit, Mitten's that ref. Boom, out of the It's about the rain. Don't. I won. <laughs>
I want to shoot back, you guys. We have to help you out. Great, great match, guys. Woo! <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll walk over the ring with the pull. I'll stand here. What happened? What happened? Oh, uh, hi. He's, he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as you can see, the show is over now. That was the only match you're going to get today. That's it. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. It was amazing. <laughs> it's fucking weird, obviously. Just taking the tarp off. You don't need it. It's supposed to rain, but you really don't need it. This is what you call paying your dues. You're literally used as material now to hold this down to keep the ring dry. <laughs> you have to use your body, sacrifice your body for the good of Deathmatch Wrestling, ICW. No holds barred, Deathmatch Driving. That's why I'm going to kick Dalton, Dalton's Yo, ass over here. TJ's vlogs get fatter? Yes, TJ's vlogs definitely got fatter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show us your mean face. Where's your mean face? You got a, he a hat in your shoe. What's your mean face? I could have put the egg. You're the intro. No, not yet. What's wrong, bud? Aren't you a wrestler? Aren't you wrestling tonight? I was actually roar. Where's the roar? Roar. Roar. Let's go, Mets, baby. Here we go. Let's go. Mets. How old? He's about seven years old. Nice. Yeah. I'll do a snake picture. If y'all want to do a picture with him, it's 20 bucks. You can put him on. Take as many pictures as you want. I like how you're riding that too, man. <laughs> That's Tao with a snake too, man. That's <laughs> We're here, man. Well, hey, there's a show later. I'm sure some people will like it. You'd be riding around. Rats, rabbits, chickens, quail. Whatever can fit in this mouth, pretty much. My mom, she grew up with uh, big uh, boa constrictors, and uh, my dad made her get rid of them when we were born because he was afraid they were going to eat us. Yeah, yeah, Because they were yeah. big as shit. It's all in the head. It's yeah, yeah. I love y'all a lot, man. I'm about to go to the pool. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, God. Bless you, too. No, fight. Even with the milk. But there'll be people around here, what, 8 o'clock show stuff? Come on, kid. Bring it on. Bring it on. Pen, go on there. Who you think you're hitting, boy? Huh? Who you think you're hitting? Pen! Huh? Pen! One more time! Oh. Yeah! Pin him! Pin him! <laughs> uh oh, he's got him off. <laughs> Be careful! Oosh! <laughs> Who are you? What's your wrestling name? Who are you? Oh, that's Logan Shark. Logan Shark? Logan Shark. Swing for the fences, Logan. Logan Shark. Hit him. Get him. Oh, he's pushing you. No, not Logan me. Not Shark. the cameraman. Oh, no. Hey. Oh. <laughs> watch out. He's going to fall. Watch out. Tough guy. What's up? Huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm documenting. Oh yeah, you're in a dress. Shit, it's comfy, huh? Uh, no, I'm changing in the shorts because this wind's gonna blow this shit up and everybody's gonna see my ass. She immediately head. says we're not doing the belly thing again, man. So you're saying I'm fat, right? You know what I'm saying? I know you got a belly, but you got a baby in there. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I didn't realize. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, sir. What, what's the girl's name? Sydney. Sydney what? Sydney Nicole. What's the last name gonna be? Daddy's name? Because we chose my last name, so, you know, eventually it comes down. Of course, it's daddy's name. It's daddy's name. Daddy's last name don't need to be exposed at the moment. I don't know if there's more floating around still. All right, We're going to stay clear. I got my mask just in case.
does the battle battle that out. Going to ring, man. Yeah, I'm going to ring. I didn't even notice these panes of glass over here as well. One, two, three, four, five over there. Five panes of glass. And of course, everything else. This is going to be an awesome show, man. There we have another <laughs> pregnant lady at the ICW. There we go. This is Mrs. Deppin. Here we go. She's going to have a future uh, little little, little Deppin, little baby boy. Maybe just... after me because I'm a narcissist. What's the name? Oh, It's going to be Cassius James. Cassius, I like that. That's, yeah, it's like the closest uh, to you Cassius. You can say CJ too. I mean, No. No, no that's CJ? That's the one thing we're not doing. <laughs> my mom said that. I'm like, I will fucking kill you. That's like, what my parents would do when they, they named me Thomas John and my dad wanted to just be Thomas because his name's Tom and mom's like, no, it's TJ. And they argued all the time and TJ yeah. stuck. I like TJ better. Well, if you like it and it sticks, that's different. But... What if he decides when he's older and he wants to be called CJ? Okay, well, if he decides that, that's <laughs> Then it's okay. Then. But I'm making the decision early on. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for talking with me, Mrs. Depp. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> I know. Let's talk about Sphinx. Oh, my God. You saw my yeah. new future Sphinx kid? Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. Beautiful. Right? Honest, right? Yeah. I can't wait. Uh, I'm so, are you really going to name him Mr. Scrotum? She doesn't want me to. It's Sergeant Scrotum. Sergeant, Sergeant, Sergeant Scrotum. goddamn Scrotum. Yes. She doesn't want to. I was thinking Sergeant Sasquatch, but like Sacksquatch? Yes. Yeah, like so sa that is perfect. That is perfect. <laughs> so something like that. So we'll figure it out. She can call him whatever she wants. I'm going to call him what I want. So. I mean. Cats don't care about their names I anyway. I call my cat everything by her name. Like, I call her my little chicken, usually. Oh, yeah, that's what we were like, nicknames like, for everything. Like, we have, like, kitty softballs called Boo Boo. We got Creature. I'm just like, hey, Creechy. You know, like, yeah. yeah. It's whatever. They just want to hear her name get fed. Cats don't give a shit. And cuddle, of course. You know. Exactly. Oh, my God. And Sphinxes, they, like, cuddle under the covers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And ours is, is yours a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl? And I heard the, the boys are even more affectionate. Like, really? they're like, yeah. Oh, I <laughs> but I didn't pick. I adopted her. She was two, so. Thank you for talking to me, and I can't wait to, to have my Sphinx. Thanks. We'll be Sphinx friends. Yes. <laughs> just start a fan club. <laughs> All right. Deathmatch drive-in starting to allow the cars to come in. It's still very early. But we want to surround the ring with vehicles here. It's going to be a thing of beauty. I missed the test pyro. Yo, if I walk through that and feel that's going to burn the shit out of me, I wouldn't want to walk through that. Wait, wait, go ahead. It's fine. Test it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Test it. One more test. <laughs> Too high, is it that high? <laughs> One more test. One. No. No, we're not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm dead ass making the setup. I like it. It's all right. Forget it. It's all good. We'll get it later. Charlie, go. Oh! Oh, you feel that heat? Don't forget to watch the stream tonight on IWTV. The stream live. Baby bumps. Baby bumps. Yo, baby bumps. <laughs> Who knocked you two up? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Would it be bad if I said you? No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but who knocked me up, though, is the question, yeah? I got orange juice. Yo, you can put that in the Soak in the glory. True. That man's all 20 twin, son. Oh, and the bubble. Danny said you could put them in there. Mur. I can't forget about my hot sister. So wait, you, you created that? Yeah. You're sick, my God damn, girl. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Sweet Jesus, girl. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, dude. You made that? You want to do some hula, hula hoops? She needs it. That is fucking that gnarly. Don't put that over there. Oh, oh, yeah. That is slack. <laughs> Stoffer over here asking, Stoffer, did you ask Slack? Will he put lotion on you? It's MB <laughs> cat. I like that though. My big cock, but with a K? I don't know. <laughs> Who's going to rub lotion all over Stoffer's hairy chest? The other one's at the hotel store. I would do it, but I don't want to touch the drone because then all that slimy shit is on my hands when I film. I don't want to do that. Listen, I'm trying to. Is that a 70? How come you got no hair on your You have a 70? 
<laughs> yeah, what'd you say? How come you got no hair on your shoulders? I got a bunch of shit. I don't know. I got a nice, smooth, even coat. I'm... <laughs> I, I, I don't... <laughs> My chest, I, 70s, my chest hair you know anything? We started filling in at like 44. So. Do I really have that much chest hair? Yeah, more dude. than me. Yo, yeah, you know anything past the set of 50 is like poison, dude. You got a 70. That's for like little kids, man. Right, a 70. What a little pussy. Yeah, no holds barred. Talk about no holds barred, right? Like, come on. I don't wear big boys. Look at look at TJ. He's so fucking red. Yeah, good. I don't want that. I like being red. How about we give him some chops? No, fuck no. I think I Fuck I think no! I nope, not Come me. On. I'm not one. in. One. I'm out. Nope. One. No, because it'll be all over me. I'll have a hand on me all night. At the end of the night, I'll let you do it. You know that. End of night. Yeah. How about you take a pizza cutter right now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> how about you rub lotion over Stolfer's chest? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. He needs to block on, the sun. On, on he's he's white. Yo, 70. Anything past 50 though, isn't it poisonous? It's toxic. I, dude, I don't even wear it. <laughs> So stupid. I, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Look, we got the Polaroids. What? <laughs> a shot right there. It's a classic <laughs> moment right there. You gotta wave it around. <laughs> Better when I'm sober. You know Matt Wolf? Yeah, I know Matt Wolf. Fuck Matt Wolf. I wrote that. <laughs> you wrote Teddy, that? Teddy told me to slap him. Teddy did not tell me to write that. Teddy didn't want me to write that. You know who, do you, I mean? who, who do you want to fuck? Who do I want to fuck? Matt Wolf, right? I don't want to fuck him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yo, yo, you know it's bad when you got photographers kicking your ass. <laughs> You're gonna take that from Connor Claxton? Just got real. Teach him a lesson. Oh, look at that. Oh. Sweep the leg. No, no, John. It's a sprint. Oh, oh, no, 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 Shit that almost connected and knocked him out. <laughs> this is not gonna end well with the chair. Go for the head. Go for the head. Oh! Sweep up! Oh, you had it! All you do is sweep the leg! I know! They're just raw. Raw thousand. Oh! Yeah, Connor, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm kind of scared. First about you don't talk about He's holding his own, though. Connor, come on. I don't worry. Oh! 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 Two! Three! Four! Get up! Five! Get up! Oh!
Good shit, good shit. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. That was that was great. I love it. <laughs> that one kick, I thought you just misconnected. I think you would have knocked him out. It like came this close to it. I, I oh. couldn't actually. Kick. I know. Yeah, dude. Oh, I was kicking him in the head like four times. I know. I saw. I saw. Can you fucking go anywhere without beating up the green kids? <laughs> hey, he said he can work them. <laughs> Sir, is he giving you a difficult time here? Absolutely. <laughs> He's one of the worst wrestlers I've ever seen. Oh, without a doubt, man. <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> I'm sure he's the one of the ones you gotta always constantly take care of, like, oh, a, little, he's, like a little baby. He's, pathetic. A little, he's absolutely <laughs> pathetic. A little stuck. If I go like this, What do you do? Kill people with juicy hot dogs? <laughs> you know where that head is at, absolutely. And you know what? This whole goddamn deathmatch extravaganza is being sponsored by someone that has some of the most juiciest hot dogs in all of Atlantic City out there. <laughs> Come on, it's ICW. Jack needs to sell some of these motherfuckers. To make a buck off of anything. That's right. That's why you see me here at ICW for them bucks. That's right. I'm talking about young ones. <laughs> that I was going to take, take Deathmatch Wrestling from the fucking grave that DJ Hyde put it in. Oh, oh, DJ. Fuck DJ! Fuck DJ! Fuck DJ! Fuck DJ! And we were going to bring Deathmatch Wrestling to the fucking top! Yeah. 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 I love Deathmatch Wrestling. Voice of the violence this evening, and of course on my left, Scotty Ceriti. Let's fucking go. We got Pyro, everything's on fire, and here comes the man himself, Nick fucking Cage. Just when you think you can't start off any hotter, here comes the king, the god, the man, 
Mr. Murder Death Kill Gang, Nick fucking Cage. Man, I'm fucking hyped, Scotty. Someone's about to get fucked up. And we know who it is. Absolutely. And you can't help but feel a little bad. All I can say is that we are packed here in Atlantic City. I can barely see the ring. No monitor, no nothing, going full rogue. And we will do our best to call the action. If I gotta get up and move some people around, I will do my damnedest. And I know Scotty will do the same. Oh, absolutely. I'm not missing a second of this no holds barred action. Breathe it in, the motherfucking king. Among his people, among his gang. You hear the crowd. And here comes his victim, I mean his opponent, in this fight tonight. Hot Black Brooklyn Death is in the house. And accompanied to the ring by the smoke bearer, Riley Madison. Casanova, you saw him on volume one get absolutely obliterated by the natural born sinner homicide. You would think this man has a death wish. He just might. He just might, but he also definitely has a point to prove here. Knocking Nick Gage off the top of the mountain would be a huge feather in the cap of Casanova Valentine. Dream big. That's what I'm here for. You have to you have to wonder if this is part of the overall strategy, you know, smoke gauge out, get him as uncomfortable as possible before the match starts. Smoke and mirrors. Exactly. We see the crowd here in Atlantic City getting behind Brooklyn Black Death. Casanova Valentine, but you're not gonna out cheer. The MDK gang, never. Introducing first, standing to my right, fighting out of National Park, with fucking Jersey. Weighing in at 215, fat ass motherfucking pals. Whipping, that dude affiliated. Hate Club, MDK, all fucking day, the god of this fucking shit, Nick Gage! Deathmatch driving off with a bang as Nick Gage, bundles of light tubes in hand, begins the assault. He's not going to let you get that long intro off. If you're getting a long intro, it's only for Nick Gage. He's cutting you off. We've seen it done with Tessa Blanchard. And now with Brooklyn Black Death, Casanova Valentine. They're on the floor. It's not easy to see the action here. We got a 
Atlantic City. Big headbutts from Casanova. Trading shots on the floor. Back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. We will do our best to keep close eyes on the action. Don't forget, you can follow along on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag NHB2. And look at these two just trading shots. Casanova looking to get the upper hand with these clubbing blows. Casanova, definite size advantage in this one, but that never really seemed to bother Nick Gage too much. No, it doesn't really matter. But look at them just brawling around ringside. Taking the action to the streets of Atlantic City here. Gage never afraid to take it to the streets. It's it's part of the that MDK in his blood. Speaking of MDK, let's address the elephant in the room, that uh, barbed wire door that says MDK all fucking day on it. Well, what else would you expect? I, mean, I would expect nothing less. That's what you get when the king comes to Atlantic City. Several times here at ICW New York, Nick Gage has come out with a barbed wire door ready to attack. I just see them in the crowd. It's hard to see. There it looks are like a Gage lot. is getting to work. There are a lot of ICW faithful here, but they are taking this as a bloodbath all the way around the ring. He's just working over Casanova. And a chop from Cass, clubbing blows again. He's got that head hooked. And just as a reminder, the referee is essentially here just to name a winner. There are no disqualifications. There are no submissions. No DQ, only way to win here is referee stoppage or pinfall on there. It is, falls count anywhere. And we got a lot of space to work with. There's a lot of Atlantic City for everybody, that's for sure. And Casanova throwing up his gang sign, the middle finger. Has to do with that Brooklyn thing. I guess so. So it's a Brooklyn bird salute, if you will. <laughs> These guys just making their way around the ring. Just showing the ICW faithful just what No Holds Barred is all about. Gage sends Cass back into the ring. Underneath those chains and Gage making his way back. What does he have in mind here? I feel like Casanova may have underestimated Nick Gage in this situation. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the case here. He came in. A lot of taunts. He's got his girl on his side, smoke in the air, and, and let's be honest, Gage doesn't give a shit about any of that. He's ready for a fucking fight. Oh, big running back elbow. Drops Ooh. Cass down on his ass. Right in to the that. sternum. Ugh. That's gotta knock the wind out of him, especially with three months off. Oh, we've seen this before. Gage getting fired up. Looking for that big, big face wash. Oh! oh! Cut off by Casanova Valentine. Cass with that bundle right to the face of Nick Gage. He is staggered. It's rare. Hooks the head. Oh. Drops him down with that DDT. And uh, when, he, when, he, when was the last time you seen Gage staggered like that? I don't think I've ever possibly at ICW New York when he faced off against Danny Oh! Moff. Huge splash, tubes across the torso of Nick Gage, and Cass is putting it to him. Casanova in the best shape of his life right now, and you can tell he's been working at this. He's no slouch. He's not going to take this as a joke. No, he's been working hard, quarantine. Anybody that saw volume one against Homicide, I think he kind of had a wake-up call. Looking for that oh. overhead, belly to belly, into the corner. These corners have no give None. on these corners. That's all metal and steel directly into the back of the king. Man, you gotta think that might, it's gotta be some strategy here from, from Casanova, doing things that most people don't get to do against the Gage. Hitting him with tubes, hitting him with the splash. Oh, uh, look it's at him. the Go stinger. Going to that. Taylor made boxing glove wrapped in barbed wire, a Casanova Valentine staple. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that still terrifies me. 
He's trying to pull Gage up. He's got him by the collar. And he's looking to inflict some punishment here. Gage is definitely in serious trouble. He's got him draped over that chain. Oh, God. Oh, ah. right at the head with the barbed wire and the fists. Scraping across the face and forehead. I mean, it's one thing to get punched with that. It's another to get scraped across your face and have those barbs ripping at your flesh. It's not a fun feeling. For me. Already torn flesh. Casanova's here to make a statement. Win or lose, he's going to come out here, come out of this as a different person. Yes, and you see got, the gears working. He's got some more bundles of tubes. How is he going to finish the king? Gage back up to oh. his feet. Chop, elbow strike. Give it two more. Look at him looking for something. Oh! oh. Caught. Oh! Hits him with that spinning rock bottom onto the tubes. I'm sure Cass has some cute gimmick I name believe, for that. I what believe, you got? in fact, that is the text message breakup. Sure. Onto a bundle of light tubes. But I don't think the King's going to take to that too kindly. I mean, it's... I can't remember the last time somebody has taken it to Gage in this way. The closest I can think is that match with Dan Moff that you can catch on IWTV from ICW New York. Came into the match injured, was already the, the not favorite in the odds. Absolutely. But was still able to, to put on a tremendous professional wrestling contest. Ref feels the need to stop it. This yeah. is going to be trouble for Casanova. And I haven't seen that face on Nick Gage since maybe a match with Matt Tremont, who pushed him to his absolute limit. Chris Levin Wait. trying to get in there. And what he's the trying fuck to is going on? Out. I think Casanova's in trouble here. Oh my God. I don't know, but it looked like a lot of blood coming from the forehead of Casanova Valentine. Him just going to town with that pizza cutter as we've seen Nick Gage always do. That's what happens when you bring it to the king, he brings it right back to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize. This is not how we saw the first deathmatch drive-in contest ending. But as we said, ref stoppage or pinfall, and it appears... I don't know. I, I believe the referee stopped the match. Chris Levin broke him up and was trying to assess the situation. And honestly, there's a lot of confusion right now. Wait a goddamn minute. Know. Wait a goddamn minute. Casanova just knocked the paramedics over. His face and head are taped up, and he's looking for more. He ain't having it. Oh, oh, shit! Bundle of tubes to the dome. Nick Gage, no remorse, no care for human life. That is what the king does. Handful of hair, and he's dragging him around the ring now. Blood gushing from the face and head of Casanova Valentine. Let no one ever tell you Nick Gage isn't smart. He sat in that crowd, he waited for his moment, and as soon as Casanova saw that empty ring, he made his attack. That's right. Nick Gage never stopped. Never stopped planning his next move instead of letting up and thinking that the match was done. He was there was no bell. There was no decision. All we did was wait, and Gage was steps ahead of what Casanova Valentine was planning to do. You can't get one over on Nick fucking Gage. Don't forget the hashtag for this evening, NHB2. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. ICW, NHB, and they're getting back into the ring. I see Casanova. He's got some tubes in his hand. How Casanova is still standing. I have no idea. Ducks the Ducks line. One. Catches him. Category 5 clinger. He's got that claw on the fucking dome. 
into the choke breaker on top of the tubes. Two count. Did you did you honestly think that Nick Gage would get beat by a version of the choke breaker? That's a, that's a fair point, but never say never in professional wrestling. Never. Okay. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Everybody gets one. Casadova looks like he's trying to figure out how to put this one away. Yeah. I mean, he's pulled the tricks out. We saw the stinger. We saw the text message breakup. We saw the stage five flinger. Oh! Gage evades it. Spear! Spear into the corner. Into that MDK barbed wire door. Gage looking for something. Oh my, oh my God! God. It's a piece of that door. He's stabbing him in the face. Continuing to go at oh the wound from the pizza cutter. The barbed wire. Oh, God. Stuck in the head and hair of Wait Casanova. Wait a minute. He's got that bundle. That looks like... Oh! oh, my God. And in one last act of defiance. And the king picks up the victory. What a way to kick off Deathmatch Driving. The match may be over, Gage may be the winner, but Casanova came here to make a statement, and you absolutely cannot argue he did just that. If you want to be here at No Holds Barred, you got to fight. And there is, I cannot dispute that Casanova Valentine, both on volume one and volume two, brought the fight. Absolutely, Gage now taking a little time addressing his adoring public. I would also like to mention the item that Gage used to win this match very similar to an item the late great Danny Havoc made his Tournament of Death debut with, and using that to pick up the win is a little beautiful for me personally. I have to say. Casanova still tangled, not moving. Man, when you kick off a show like that, what is next? Oh, man. Larry back in the right, ring. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on to What's our up second next? contest. Let's find here out. At ICW, No Holds Barred, Volume 2, Death Match Driving. Sorry, I'm going to go to the first point. Okay. What? Yeah, he's gonna take photos too. Why don't you just go with him? Yeah, yeah. No, we just want to make sure. We're gonna make sure. We're gonna make sure we got. Cass. We're just here to do that. Cass. Cass. What happened, man? Yeah, it's Nick Cage, bro. What are you gonna? Yeah, do? you know, man, you killed him there, though, dude. When he retires, I'll come up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're fucking back, man. TJ and friends, and Nick Gage is fucking back, man. And we're fucking tearing shit up. You fuck Casanova. Damn down right, down, man. man. I'm the best deathmatch wrestler in the world today. And if anybody got a problem with it, come fucking find me, and we'll set that shit up. Nah, man, I'm just glad to see all my brothers in the ring, man. I'm glad to see my boys, my fans, my friends, and we're all doing this like we're supposed to, man. Right. Shout out to fucking Danny Havoc, man. Rest in peace. I love you. I'll see you when I see you. Shout out. 26, keep your head up, man. You get out soon, man. Shout out to everybody out there, man. It shows love and support for Deathmatch Wrestling and MDK Gang, man. I'm Nick fucking Gage, and I'm the God. Also.
Can we do one more? Throw it back down. Switch it up. Yeah, switch, switch it up. Ugh. Switch it up. We'll do a video. Uh, Reenact me here. All right. We got I'm money getting shirts. Ready? Yeah. yeah, baby. It's like a lightsaber. Yes, sir. After I own this for like a year and a half. Do they shatter like tubes? Probably, but I'm not going to test that. I know, but it'd be dope if somebody could use them in an open bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's a real lightsaber. We <laughs> 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 had a fucking I'm Star Wars convention. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It just broke on you? It just collapsed. I thought about sitting in it and it gave up. So I sat in it and it started breaking. And I advised Connor to maybe yeah. not sit in it and he did. It lasted a good while. It, it lasted longer than I expected. Well, Connor, look, Connor's lost a lot of weight. He looks good. I'm old school Connor, like me now, you would expect to break it, but I can't believe he broke that just sitting in that damn thing. Are you serious? I don't know who's that. We're not partying with the necker. Don't break that. No. <laughs> it's a taboo. It's my breakfast food now. Alright, so we're at a brief intermission. I mean, it's already been going on for like 10 minutes. Rehydrating, man, like a motherfucker. I believe we got uh, Reed Bentley and Akira up next. So, uh, yeah, fuck, this is, show's gonna be great. I believe mean, there's only six matches tonight, but man, great environment here. Everything's fucking awesome, dude. No, you want me to hold it for your dick? No, no, I got this shit, man. It's vlogging, bro. You want to hold this dick? You want to hold this dick? <laughs> is that what he just said? <laughs> I think, right? That's what I heard. I heard you want to hold this Yo, dick. Bro. Call me DJ. Ooh, DJ? Yeah, like oh. six feet. Yes, yeah, social distancing, man. <laughs>
gentlemen, for the introduction. Introducing first, standing to my left, fighting out of the good old fucking USA. He is the Dick Samurai. Standing to my right, fighting out of Deja Tonda, he is an atrocity to God, Reed Bentley! Atrocity to God, by God, Frank and Bentley. This man has a lot of nicknames. He's earned them, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And we look into him stand across the ring against the Death Samurai. Akira looking to make his name here tonight. Shaking Young hands. Lions. Show of respect. Oh, well, that did oh. not long. Oh, look at that smile. That's how you know Bentley's feeling mischievous. Tubes to the head. Looking for oh. another one. Scorpion kick. Kick to the chest through those tubes. What does Akira have in mind here? Drop toe hold, strikes. Things you don't usually see in death matches. Scorpion strikes and things of that nature. Big kick, make it two. Akira brings a different style, but a fighter nonetheless. Reed back to his feet, big I, forearm strike. I have gotten a chance to get to know Akira quite well over the past few months that we've gotten to know and work with each other. And you can see it clearly here. Akira is just as much influenced by professional wrestling as he is by Japanese fighting films. You can see it in the way he lands his strikes, he positions himself. This man is, is the new age of strong style. Oh, God! Oh, looking for that knee strike. Oh, chair across the back, covered in tubes. Bentley's ready to party. He always is. When you're making those drives, he's ready to put in that work and deliver the punishment. And it's it falls on Akira's back, as you can see. Clearly, and Akira was still tangled when Bentley went to pull him out. Some brutal kicks. From Reed, dragon oh. screw leg whip takes him down. Glass shards cover this canvas, and what does he have there? A pit. Oh God! Oh. Into the back, just a pitchfork of sorts. Akira, oh huge knee strike to the back of the head. That can knock somebody out. You gotta get Chris Levin. He's gotta check on him. I don't know, Bentley's got a hard ass head though. Yeah, yeah. Akira now in firm control here, which is surprising, but it's still the early goings of this match here. Hooks the head. Oh God! Oh, oh brain buster on the top of his head. Read by God, Bentley. That's a, that's a Bentley favorite, that brain buster right there. What has he got in his hand? Oh, God. No, it's aggressive play. Uh. Oh! Headbutt into the scalp. That gusset plate sticks in place, and then a huge mafia kick sends him to the ground. Reed Bentley, just like Akira, a student of the game, less so a student of the Japanese martial arts films, but more so a student of, like, Bruiser Brody, Abdullah Kobayashi, the, the real violent, hard-hitting people. Nobody gives the rejects enough credits on their strikes. Big Kawada kick, make it another to oh. the top of the head, hooks him for that Saito suplex. But look, Reed, is he out on his feet right now? Oh. Oh. Overhand strike. Dragon! Dragon suplex. But look at Akira fight up. Hooks that half and half on the top of his head. Oh. These two are bringing the fight to one another here 
at NHB2. You can use that hashtag and follow along with us on social media. Akira back up to his feet, landing those kicks. Oh. Hooks him. Oh! Oh my oh. god! Ribs first on that chain. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! All the way to the floor and through what looked like a light tube contraption. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing our best to call the action as we see it. Going at this gorilla as fuck here in Atlantic City. Yes, sir. Would not have it any other way. No holds barred. Oh! oh. That bat across the back of Akira. And what does Reed have in mind here? Reed looking for something. Oh! Broken light tubes right to Akira. And Akira no longer in control of this one. He's in trouble here because once Reed gets going, he very much can't stop. Yeah, he's not going to let up. The kid looking to make a name for himself, and he certainly is doing his best, but you're going to get cut off by a veteran of this deathmatch genre like Reed Bentley. Tremendous, amazing talent, and you just see him putting the fight to him. Not to say that, uh, that Akira is a slouch in his own right. He's of out here. He's not. bringing the fight to Reed Bentley. He's Where bringing everything he has. Where in God's name? I see them off into the sea of cars here at the drive-in. I see heads moving. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm genuinely concerned for the well-being and the safety of not only the competitors, but anybody in Atlantic City who gets in their way. I can't see much. But all I know is that there are some bad intentions being cooked up right now. Control may have shifted from one person to another. These deathmatch warriors bringing the fight all the way around the Atlantic City public. They're working their way over to these steps over here. They seem to be working their way around this crowd. Around this setting venue. up these tables. And we got Reed laid out and Akira. He seems to be oh Jesus. He's got Reed prone across these tables. Wait as a minute. The death samurai works his way. Oh my god. No way. The kid drove 10 plus hours, and he's gonna make a fucking name for himself. No way. Holy shit. Oh my shit. God. Senton off the roof, tubes on his back, motherfucking Akira. Chris Levin checking in on both fighters. You're gonna have to. Absolutely unbelievable. You wanted no holds barred. You got no holds barred, even if that means our neighbors over here. And somehow, Reed Bentley gets the shoulders up. Two count there. I can't believe it. That would have killed a normal man. Reed Bentley seems to be slapping a pair of handcuffs onto Akira. Huge kick to the back. Bentley giving himself any advantage he can currently. Hits him over the head with a broken piece of that table. Grabs Akira. I don't think he expected this much from Akira. No, anyway. I don't think so. He's whipping him with those handcuffs. Dear God. Using them as some sort of brass knuckle. They're making their way. Back to the ringside area. Akira laying in shots. Anything can be used as a brass knuckle if you try hard enough. Oh! Absolutely tosses Akira into that ring post back first. 
Akira is in severe trouble here. Reed Bentley looking to lock on these handcuffs. He's got his hands behind his back. Like, I, I, I don't understand. It's like a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. Reed's got a light too. Oh! oh, over the dome. He throws Akira back into the ring. Follow suit. Boot scrape. Reed Bentley is a bloody mess. Oh, overhand strike. Reed asking for one back. Oh, spits in his face, jumping in Zagiri to the back of the dome. He rattled it out. He's got him hooked up. Oh, bridging suplex into those tubes. Hooks the leg. Bentley says no. Bentley kicks out with authority. Somehow, by God, Reed Bentley back up to his feet. Grabs the leg. Oh, oh, huge forearm strike. Sends Akira reeling. And now Reed, he's got that bundle of tubes. Oh, brilliant by Akira, picking the legs there to create the distraction. Big kick, Bentley. kip up. The kid's fired up. Looking for that over the head. Regal! Oh! Regal flex into the corner on that bundle of tubes. That's got to be it. He's got him. Jay Drilla! One, two, and not enough to put him away. Akira back to his feet. Bentley cutting him off there. Huge headbutt. Oh, oh just sends him into the chains. What in God's name? Bentley setting up that table across the second section of chain. That is definitely an interesting setup. And it has bad intentions written all over it. Akira able to fight out, lighting him up with strikes. The lens is open. I got it, I got it. Nick Gage is fucking approval there, man. Yeah, right. You guys have been waiting three months for professional wrestling. Three months! Kira, man. Proving yourself more and more, dude. I fucking loved it, dude. I love everybody. I had to drone up in there for that spot. It looks sick, brother. I can't wait to share it with you, man. It really my pop. Go do your get cleaned up, man. I'll talk to you later on. No, Matt's going out. I don't I don't matter now. Matt's the fucking coolest. Look at that, that pyro going on, yeah. I'm sure they're going to be fine with it. I think they're leaving. 
good. Get out of here. Go find something else to do. Yo, I love this shit. I fucking love this shit. Yeah, they're leaving. Cool, good. See, they're being cool. Good. That's what we need. Nobody's getting really hurt without, you know. This is a show, baby. Ain't nobody out here getting hurt unless they want to. Sorry for my comments earlier, but I kind of know. Be kind to each other, man. This is uh, okay to do this show here. Oh, no, giving them bottles of water. That's awesome. There you go. See what that's about, baby. Everybody get the fuck along. Just enjoy the show. Good job, officers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Holy shit! It's like wooden forks, I believe, or some shit like that. Thank God for a good movement here. Yeah, you got fire, you might as well use the fire in the ring again. Just gonna keep rolling here. I'm trying to do my best vlogging today, but. It's been a long day. Death match driving. We gotta get some video shots of the people out there, man. I lost my mask, man. I don't wanna walk down there and make anybody uncomfortable. Just lost it. Stompers got masks. There's masks all over. No old bar masks. ICW is very prepared for that. Holy 
shit. You, are you asking me? This ain't my place. <laughs> I mean, no, sir. I live here. You need to get out of here. <laughs> Damn it, I want to go down closer to the ring.
Everybody's doing their best with their masks, got hand sanitizer. Yeah, it's hard to defeat this. You just really got to learn how to keep your distance from each other. Don't be talking to each other's faces. And, you know, I haven't seen anybody call. But again, we don't know enough about it. So anyway, forget what I'm saying. I'm rambling on. Eric Ryan, Alex Clone, kicking each other's asses in there. And I want one somebody's balcony out here. regular professional wrestling though before right on TV yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nothing like this though right now see this is the indie scene right here you got to get into this stuff man but a lot of those guys you see in WWE some of them you'll see in they've been there before like John Moxley you know who Moxley is before do you guys watch like uh, any of the companies on TV today Nah, you don't watch any shit, but there's some guys that were started alone and they make it to the big times. What's that? They got YouTube. Yeah, they got YouTube. They got like a live feed. There's all kinds of shit, man. But you guys enjoyed it though, right? It was, yeah, it's yeah. wild, man. It is. It's like nothing you've seen before, man. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah, when I first saw it too, I was like... Oh, he was jumping on the uh, Ohio car. I had a drone so out there. Ryan, dope when I got the drone shot of that. And, and, uh, Thank you. It's an art, man. It's an art form in a way. How's that? Okay. It tastes good. <laughs> it definitely does, it comes man. from the heart just like this. Something's going on over there. What's going on over here? Oh, it's Grasso working. Yeah. Very grind. Man, it's as tough as they come, brother. I see dumb! I see dumb! I see dumb! So I just wanted to be your guy and give you guys some uh, good news. Um, since you guys behaved so well tonight, I think after speaking to uh, Tennessee Avenue, that we're gonna fucking party all summer long. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Then we're back here next Saturday, July 4th. Okay. And then we're back here again Saturday, August 8th for the fucking Mac Mac Circus. Here he comes, one of the scariest individuals I have ever seen in my life. Facts. Guns don't kill people. Schlack kills people. No God. Only Schlack. And still repping that shoes death shirt that was passed on to him by the legend, the Necro Butcher at volume one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the introduction. Introducing first, standing to my right, fight out of Waxahachie, Texas, he is the Duke of Hardcore, John Wayne Murdoch! And his opponent, pacing to my right, fight out of Shit's Creek, he is public enemy number one, there is no God, there is only Schlack. These people love them some Schlack, and honestly, I don't blame them. Everybody likes a good train wreck in slow motion. Of course. And apparently, that's apparently Schlack's face just set off someone's car alarm. Makes sense. What are these two gonna do? Oh dear oh, god. Oh boy. Oh dear god. Well, time to gather a few more scars to tell a few more stories. Oh, God, these two are just going to beat the fuck out of each other the whole time. What did I tell you? Chop to the chest from John Wayne laying in on Schlack. Ducks that line. Ooh. John Wayne floats over looking for that. Not something that you normally would see, but he's looking for a victory. A lot of people would not have expected that from John Wayne Murdoch. Oh my oh. God. That's Talk expected. about a fucking car crash. Schlack grabs a piece of glass and runs into it. Oh yeah. No technical term here. I'm sorry, I can't be more technical. Well, when you're Scott. built like a small train, you don't really need, you don't need to be flashy about it. You just make it happen. Back chop there. Ouch. That's just mean. Oh. Jockey. A little bit of a dosy -si though. Waist lock from Schlack. Trying to fight out. He's working that wrist. Big elbows to the back of the head. As you can see, John Wayne. Oh! Olympic style slam from Schlack there. Schlack. Both oh, tubes. Christ almighty. To each other's faces. It's a little bit of a, a, an unorthodox meeting of the minds. There's still a lot of tubes. Oh, yeah. A lot of light tubes. There are going to be a lot of light tubes until this one is oh my God. all the way what? up. Oh, my God. Fuck. He just hit him over the head with a trash can covered in light tubes. Holy shit, I expect nothing less from these two maniacs. If I'm not mistaken, that's actually the Shit's Creek special. Sure. Trash can with light tubes I'll, all over I'll take, I'll take your word for it, Scotty. Well, you know, Schlack, former mayoral prospect of Shit's Creek. John Wayne. Is that a gusset played into his arm? Oh, my God, call him the action. It's so difficult. But look at him just going to work on the face of Slack headbutts. Oh, headbutts. Yeah, I know you don't like them. Oh, there's that trash can again. <laughs> Nothing like the sound of a trash can to the fucking head. 
Now it's, a, it's a good sound. I've missed that sound. Be disgusting. Be better than a headbutt. Well, gusset plates being pressed into the forehead of John Wayne. Oh, it's it's in there. Fuck it. Oh. Gusset plates exist. For those of you at home who don't know, they exist to hold roofing together. We're not building a roof. No, we're holding together John Wayne Murdoch's forehead, apparently. And now we have John Wayne trying to go to work on Schlack here. He's got him by the back of the head. The problem is you have so much work to do, tiring Schlack out before your attacks even register. Is he looking for that Deep South Destroyer onto these light tubes? Oh, oh backdrop through the tubes. Schlack saw it coming. Murdoch definitely didn't see that coming. Well, he was expecting an entirely different result. Schlack just destroying him over his back with the remnants of that deathmatch device. Pulling a shard of light tube out. Tracking down John Wayne. Going to work on that forehead. Just scraping. John Wayne Murdoch is covered in blood currently. He's got one of those chairs just directly into the midsection of Slack. Peppering him with forearms, chops, trying to get Slack in position, but he's all go. Always moving forward, never backpedaling. Murdoch's no stranger to a fight, though. He can keep this going for quite a long time. Absolutely. He seems to be putting a pane of glass into the ring. That's what we needed, more glass. I thought we were out of glass. Fuck, who brought the glass? Tell them we don't need any more. Go ahead. Oh, we don't need any more. Go, don't tell them. I'm not telling Shrek and Murdoch that. I'd get hit with it. Yeah. That's no, not yeah, how this yeah. works. We're good here. Both making their way back to their feet. Slowly but surely. John Wayne laying in those blows. Oh. Went Looking for the for bionic. Overhead release through the pane of glass. Tremendous impact. And Schlack has got to stay on top of him. Hooks the leg. Not enough to put away the Duke of Hardcore. Definitely not enough. Everybody seems to forget that John Wayne Murdoch has almost died for this shit and still kicked out. One of the toughest, like I mentioned before, deathmatch elite, a true fighter in every sense of the word. Schlack doesn't have to kick out of death. I heard a rumor that Schlack met death once and he told him to go fuck himself. Well, he just told John Wayne to go fuck himself that and smash two right. tubes over his face. Oh, dear oh, God. Here come your headbutts. Oh. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Trading blows with the sea of fans wrapped around them in this death match. Drive in. Just, oh, the fucking headbutt. Jesus. Over and over. Both. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Fall down to the floor. They might both be out right now. If not, they definitely both have brain damage, that's for certain. Good God. The brain lives in there. I want to make that clear to everybody. I, I know there may be a lot of people here who didn't necessarily finish their schooling. The brain lives in there. It's not okay. They're both trying, trying to get back up. Schlack makes his way and going to work on the face of John Wayne Murdoch. Just carving. Oh, he's biting him. Jesus. Schlag doesn't even give a fuck. He does not. He's one of those people, seek and destroy. If you're in front of me, you're a dead man. That's very true. We've seen it happen here. We saw him take out the Necro Butcher. You'll probably true. never see him in a ring with ropes or chains or anything ever again. No. Schlag is sliding a 
table into the ring. And then we have John Wayne. Murdoch grabbing at carpet strips. Because, you know. Chasing him down. Oh, headbutt with the tubes. Disgusting. Oh my goodness, Schlack just delivering these blows to the chest, just hitting each other with tubes. There's still a lot in the ring. These two are just obliterating one another, like you said, a slow motion train wreck. Oh, oh my God. Is he stabbing him? He's shanking him. This is a different side of John Wayne Murdoch than I'm used to. I mean, when, when, when you stand across from Schlack, you have to take it to a whole nother level. Absolutely. What? What is going on? Schlack is, <laughs> he is in the backseat trunk area of somebody's car, deathmatch driving. And here comes the Duke of Hardcore, making him way back to his feet, delivering a chop. And look at Schlack, overhand. Mm. Trade and blows. I said this was gonna be an outright brawl and a fight, and that's exactly what we're getting. Murdoch's in trouble here. He is. He's never been manhandled like this before. And Murdoch's not a small dude either. No. He's just getting thrown around like a child here in Atlantic City. Well, then again, Schlack throws most people like their children. So. Yeah, it's kind of kind of how things work. Schlack just choking him. Anything goes, no disqualifications. A chokeout would still count as a ref stoppage. Doesn't matter if you do it the nice way or the proper way. And here we go. Schlack picking up a tube over the head of John Wayne. John Wayne swings one of his own and connects. And they're going back for more. Braden shots, one from John Wayne. No quit in either of these men. Oh. Look at the amount of blood coming from these two, and they just won't quit. Oh, God. Napoleon chopped with tubes, and John Wayne still retaliating. Maybe looking for that choke buster. Oh, dear God. Into that guardrail covered in light tubes. Guardrails don't have any give whatsoever. They're almost as bad as concrete, especially when set up in the corner like that. Only two. Not enough to put John Wayne Murdoch away. Murdoch's a fighter, always has been. Doesn't matter what situation you put him in. Doesn't matter which scary motherfucker you've got him standing across the ring from. Well, Schlack is up to his feet at table set up. There's still so much absolute fuckery around these two. And here comes John Wayne, cracking open a fresh box of tubes and putting them down on that table. What does he have in mind for Schlack? More fucking headbutts. Ugh. Scoops him up, places him gently. That's the most gentle oh. I've ever seen Schlack do anything. John Wayne pops to his feet. Murdoch trying to rally. He's got that plastic bag trying to choke out John Wayne. That's a staple of Schlack's moveset there, which is weird to say at a professional wrestling show in the year 2020 that a plastic bag to the face is usual offense. He keeps that thing on him. What is going on here? Please. This is, this is. This no, is not no, unfamiliar no, no. territory for Schlack. We can agree on that. It's just, it's a long way down. Schlack, no Schlack stranger. up to the platform. 
No God, only Schlott. Oh. Elbow connects. Hooks the leg. Jesus Christ. Not enough. Schlack with every pound down across the chest of John Wayne Murdoch, and it's not enough to get the victory. He's got Ooh, him with that joke. Oh. Oh. Hooks those legs. Somehow, some way, John Wayne gets his shoulders up. And Schlack is he's, he's back to his feet. He's got that chair set up. John Wayne trying to gather himself. John Wayne is in serious, serious trouble here. Yeah. Oh! God almighty! Schlack didn't need all that. Oh, fuck! God. Oh! Yes, him. Oh my God. Clubbing blows. I mean, that's gotta be it. Where's, I mean, he's not there. Look at him. He must still be verbal with Chris Levin because that's the only way to get a stoppage if you can't verbally produce an answer. There is a lot of tubes. Schlack, boom. John Wayne trips that leg. Oh my goodness. Hooks that head. Brain Buster! Onto the chair. Hooks the leg. And that's it. Murdoch did it. Unbelievable. There was a very real possibility we could have been witness to a murder right here. And absolutely destroyed him. Brain buster in every sense of the word. Drops him on the top of his head onto that open chair to get the three count. Your winner, the Duke of Hardcore, John Wayne Murdoch. Thank you guys for joining us here at ICW No Holds Barred Volume 2 Deathmatch Drive In. Well, before you sign off, hold on just a second. Murdoch's saying something. You love to see it. You do. You got to see the respect between these fighters. And when you put it all on the line, there's got to be that respect at the end to say, you beat me. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is something that we run back because it was absolutely everything that we expected. That was electric. Ladies and gentlemen, I think unfortunately that means it's about our time to go. I am the struggles. My name is Scott Ceridi, and I think I'm gonna be right back here next week. What say you, struggles? I'll be here. You can see us on IWTV.live. Let us know what you think about this show using the hashtag NHB2, and we'll see you guys next week.
I had no choice, man. If I didn't land it here, I would have lost it. Dude, Is look that at that drone? Yeah. Yeah, that's my drone, man. The fuck you think this is? This is a professional, professional vlogging channel, man. Not that Boulevard Bully bullshit. I never even heard of those guys. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's still on. Can you grab it for me? I mean, I can chuck it for you. No, don't chuck it. It's got priceless footage on there. The SD card is crucial. Oh, wait. So no, I'm, no. Don't do this, right? Danny will kill you. I know you will. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I'm going to clean off and I'm going to go to that beer hall over there. <laughs> that one right over there. Axe party thing? Yeah, why not? Okay, we'll meet you there, right? I'm going to shower. Yeah, if you get grab. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll be there. in the beer hall, dude. I'll meet you there. Okay. Hey, good fucking shit, dude. What? The whole match. Oh, fucking I'd sit. Right here, I, I, I popped right your here. entrance. Dude. I've been waiting for this month. Yeah, uh, I'm going to shower. Oh, damn. Right. Under your arm? The, the yeah, under part of your forearm? Yes, uh, 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 yeah. Oh shit, oh, shit, that. dude. Oh, that's not, okay, it's oh, not yeah, bad. Not bad. At first I was like, holy shit, is that a slice all the way down? Jesus. That match was great, guys. Thank that was awesome, man. man. So what's the plan, Mr. Slack? We're going over to Beer Hall? Beer Hall. Uh, do, uh, do a bunch of beers and uh, drink, drink some cocaine. <laughs> drink some cocaine. Let me get a shot of your back, brother. Oh, is it bad? It's not bad. I mean, compared to Slack, with Slack's bad. Nah, you got some good color, man. No, nah, it was a good match, man. Oh, we didn't use the paint with the powder. Uh, yes. Ooh. Oh, oh. How are you? Wait, hold on. Let me get my shit right. Oh, yeah, my mess. Fuck. Yo, like yeah, no, it's all right. <laughs> hey, listen, we're all ending up in the fucking ICU anyway, so. That's true. I know I had no show. fever. Uh, no, this was kind of like great, our man. tournament of death oh, was here, right? There was no horrible tournament of death for us to. Yeah, I love that. Was there a There is no tournament of death no. this year, is there? there well, we even last year was terrible, but this year we got. Like this is like our outside, we got yeah. This is our outside oh BYOB show of June, still so technically. Yeah. So it replaced COD. Well, uh, I mean, it's Atlantic City, and now they passed the law where you can walk around the pool and drink all you want. So I'm sure they're not going to say anything on the streets or anything. I know the mess. No, it's great. It's about to get pretty ugly. So oh, the after party is probably going to get ugly. Yeah, yeah it's going to get weird. Are you hanging out? Oh, fuck yeah! Of I have to go to the, the hotel room and sponge bath, sponge bathe. Where are you staying at? Casanova. We're at the uh, the GCW showboat right over here. That's where I'm going to be at too. All right, so I'll see you over there. We're going to I'm going to I got to sponge them off, stitch them up. And then where are we going afterwards? We're drinking Tennessee Avenue. Tennessee Avenue. We're yeah, it's like Ocean Avenue except Tennessee. Where's right, Tennessee see Avenue? Right here? You're yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It's right here. <laughs> it's the pub over there we're going Wait, to. All right. quick, give me the lyrics to Ocean <laughs> Avenue. Uh, There's a place on Tennessee, Tennessee Avenue. Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you did that. You were 16 years old and I was 16 years old. So right. Then later on I was 18 years old and you were 18 years old. In case anybody uh, listens to this song. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of shit in the wrestling business. I don't want to get into that. Fucking yellow card. <laughs> Clean up process. Clean up process. Oh. The, the glass blower. Danny, I'm gonna catch you off guard here. By the way, that show was fucking awesome, man. Thank you, dude. Nah, I do. I really, really I enjoyed it. Appreciate having you here. I appreciate yeah. you having me here, man. It was fun being You're here. Very sunburned, though. Oh, of course, man. You know. <laughs> Don't you have nice teeth? Hey, 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 hey. Be nice. Uh, the, beer yeah. got, the beer got solid. Yeah, the beer got solid. When I go, to, when I go to the ban when I go to the bathroom now, I mean, I can't see my junk anymore. It sucks, but you know, it's part of uh, getting heavy. So. It's your power, I'm more at TJ. Be completely honest with you, though. Like, I just love having everybody back together. I was born with my good. It's been, a, it's been a hot minute. It was. It was really nice, man. It was cool to see the cops are actually cool with everything too. I got a shot of uh, somebody giving them bottles of water too. So. Oh, they were happy. Yeah, nice. yeah. That's good. Yeah, man. You got good shots. At first, I was like, "What are they doing?" I was like, "Ah, uh, but like, you know." Yeah, yeah, but they were cool about it. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. So it's about man. It's about being good people, man. That's all it's about, man. Yeah. Uh, today was, a, I think, it was a prime example. Honestly, it was, it was awesome. Everybody was well behaved, like you said. I mean, we don't want to keep our masks on, like mine's not on now. I mean, we're trying our best, but it's, it's not so on right now. Yeah, my shit's down now. It's but, hard to I keep mean, it on. We're all the together. We we took care of it though. Every single time I saw a video, there was all masks. Everybody. Oh no, I did when yeah. I was walking. Everybody had their masks on. I kept my distance when I was walking. I wasn't like getting in anybody's faces or anything. I gotta so. give all the credit in the world to him. I couldn't keep that fucking thing on in commentary. I could right. not do it. He kept it on? He kept it on the whole show? Wow. It's hard. That's rough. Yeah. But hey, man, look forward to the next one. I mean, I can't make next week, but I will be at the next one at that in August. I'll be there. Circus.
No holds bar, baby. I like it. The ICW like no holds bar. I like it a lot. <laughs> I just, I just met this fine gentleman here. I like that idea. He's telling me nobody would give him a goddamn beer. Except for my boy right He offered me money. So I don't want your damn money, man. I don't mind give a hundred bucks for goddamn beer. I don't want no money, man. I just want you your company. Enjoy the goddamn beer. Cheers it up again, my man. You the man. You got a good tan. I got, I got red today, man. Yeah, we'll How do you stay in shape? See, man, look at this thing, man. Look at how the fuck, you know what I mean? How old are you? 54. 54, I'm 38, man. I look, I look horrible for 38, man. No, you don't. 54, I wish I could look healthy and shaped like yeah, that, man. Well, you know the trick. What's the trick? You dry shave your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them pink. <laughs> Cheers, what's your name again, buddy? Heyday. Heyday. Heyday, TJ, man. You the man, man. Good combo, man. Good, good, good people. Yes, you ever hear the dating site? I just, I just put you on the dating site. Please hurry. My balls fell up fresh. After <laughs> this picture, this hat, on POF. Please hurry, my balls fill up quick. Tell everybody how your balls fill up quick. But they don't fill up that quick. It's a, I need a 24 hour grace period. It's all pretend. You know I'm an old man. I love this guy, man. Good people, man. Good time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, every time we're in AC here, this building here. Usually you'll see moths hovering over lights. It's just fucking seagulls, like, everywhere. Like, what is going on with this place, man? It's like an evil, we were saying it's like an evil secret lair. Let's see if we can see one of them up close. It's definitely, no, it's a spaceship, but these are moths, man. It's literally, I mean, not moths, I'm sorry, it's seagulls. Yeah, there you go, seagulls, look at them. What are they doing up there? What are they trying to prove? What is that blue planet over there? <laughs> So weird. It's pretty cool though. From here you can see it looks really cool. For those who've never seen it, I'm sure everyone who watches has. Good shitters. Still cleaning up. It's been like an hour. Still getting hard. You guys work hard, man. It's rough. I barely work. Nah, right, so let's just fill up the tarp until it gets a lot of work. Okay. This is crazy how much glass is here. So you could smell the blood coming off the glass. Yeah, the iron, man. It's, it stinks. Like I told you before, you can't smell the blood, but you smell the iron. And motherfucker, these motherfuckers must have some high ass iron levels because holy shit. Yeah. I thought we were yeah. barbed yeah. wire. Yeah, whatever. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Someone's gonna, someone's gonna come by and take it, without a doubt. It'll be gone later. Yeah, th this will be gone. This will be dumped out and taken. This is like perfect. Dude. I mean, they already stole it from the fucking grocery store, clearly. Was it Aldi? It's green, I don't know what that is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, I met, met, got to meet up my wild, crazy friends here. Yeah, I know, and I was just getting ready to come down with this then, too. I didn't even see that shit. What up? <laughs> video once, man. Grateful death match. All right, Fuck end of the cool. show. Look at all that trash out there, man. You're Just running, flipping. Everything's ready, done with. Is that arm drag? Hip toss? You want hip toss? Yeah, I'm getting bitten my feet by ants. This shit sucks. You do a hip toss? Grateful death match, Instagram. Grateful death match. I was like, that's not working. I'm just gonna flip it. <laughs> hey man, it didn't break. You gotta get put to use, you know? <laughs> Did you break it? Yeah, you broke it. It's good. Let's say Casanova. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Bottle rockets off of each other on the pier. Look at these homeless guys, they're gonna blow each other in the garbage. Are you recording? Yes. These two homeless men over here about to blow each other in the garbage. I watch a homeless guy here, My friend Skip is wrapping himself in barbed wire. Look at this shit. You ready, dude? No fucking barbed wire hip toss. This is my first time with barbed wire. Yeah, this is, uh... This, I, think it's, I think this is your last spot, buddy. I think this is the go home. I think this is the go home spot, but I support it fully. <laughs> This is where you die. <laughs> Dude, there's a full door. Look, he set it up. <laughs> All these years, nobody told me how much fun it is to be sober and just watch this shit happen. Oh, yeah, it's hilarious. I mean, I'm high as fuck, bro. Look at these trash pickers over here. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just gonna keep filming while I drink my beer. This is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been forever. Please don't, don't impale yourself on a table leg. I don't think he realizes how bad the barbed wire is gonna actually cut these. Yeah, no, no, he has no idea. I mean, I don't know. There's, There's a hospital many, like two blocks many away. How so. do you think are worth right here? Joe's not drunk though, so he's just having fun. That's just his thing. He's masterminding this. He's got the puppet strings. <laughs> I think Skip, Skip is at one tenth capacity, maybe. <laughs> I think together they make one in a tenth of a man. Kind of conjoining mine. Kind of like all over the place. It's a hive mind, but it's like a fucked up hive. The workers are Hey man. Do it, do it for the vlog. Alright, we're taping too long. I'll wait till you're ready. Yeah, I didn't even look at that. I was just going to It's a full door just sitting there, like. Nobody's gonna it use it, it's all trash. It what this fucker's doing, he just hasn't said He's gonna hit touch you with barbed wire. Straight. You guys are gonna get hurt. You're I'm gonna get hurt. I'm straight, he thinks he's jumping on someone somehow. You're gonna get hurt. Hey, I won't jump on you. He's trying to hip toss you with barbed wire wrapped around him. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? I've never seen this spot before. This can't possibly end well. This famous barbed wire hip toss you've never seen. Oh, that. no, yeah. He's won several Damn. tournaments. <laughs> he won the Masters of Agony 2017. Masters of Agony. Very good, Skip. Just finish it already. It's like some bad news over here. Oh, yeah, dude. dude somebody's gonna get hurt. Throw a logo for it. There's so many people, so many people are partying down the street over there, too. Is it like packed down there? It yeah, it looks like it is. It looks like it's overcrowded, and whatever. Alright, waste some more footage. Over. We'll just destroy the fucking chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah do it! <laughs> you could have really? said that too. Do it for your freedom! Joe, 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 Joe. Ow, you fucking bugs! There's fucking ants all over my feet. Record that shit. I did. They fucking that's, hurt. That's they're, right there. they're fucking biting the shit out of me. Look TJ's at them. feet. They fucking hurt. TJ's feet. His Ugh. petite soles. Got most of them off, but like they still hurt. You're pretty red, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Is your sunburned? <laughs> hey, I'm okay. I'm fine. Right. You should be more worried about your man. He's got to hurt himself. He's worried about himself. All right, we do it or not? Because I've been recording again. This right, is wasting good. footage. There we go. There we go. We're wasting time here. We just figured it out. All right, we got it. I got ants biting my feet. It hurts. As soon as, as soon as it's done. It hurts. My feet are getting bit by these ants. Where's the fucking bird? 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 Go! 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 Why not? Wow! I didn't know it did it at all! I didn't get a plump in! That seems to be in it. Stuck all in his ass! It's stuck in his ass! All fucking day. <laughs> we broke that board. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you, you did it. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> we gotta finish it. He did it. He did it. He good. It's not done. We have a blood, blood feud. Oh, you're gonna do Watch it. Wait, you're gonna do some more? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm trying not to pull up your jacket. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's right in your back. Oh, oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> Feels yeah, good. Book me in the states, not to sit in fucking Mexico and do this dumb shit. Fucking mask. Bad for wearing his tank. Oh, I know. Look at them, dude. Dude, they're like all over me, Jesus. crawling on me. They're fucking biting the shit out of me. All of them fuckers. You have a piece here, and then. Did it look good? Your arms all great. Yeah, dude. That's my first light tube experience. Hey, man, it's all in the fun. Hell yeah. Bloodlust. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'd rather take a glass to the back than get thrown into the chair. The light tubes aren't bad in the back. It's the the 
the barbed wire because it'll slice you up like what he just. So the, the guy was real glass. Yeah, yeah, it was real glass. This on film. Yeah, yeah, you. That watch. shit was crazy, yo. These, yo. It's fun to watch. Fucking so. did a somersault into the fucking barbed wire, yo. Went through the table and shit. I was watching the whole thing from where I live, right there. I was this, free this show. is what he calls fun, dude. Look, y'all, I got it on my Snapchat. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. I'm not playing, dude. This is fun to him. I got. Wait, what is it? And that superstar. No fucking label, histoplasmosis. Don't show me. This dude. Oh, I'm fucking fine. I'm Joe Esmerador. I don't have the one to kill a Well, fag, I want to say I know one thing's for sure, is that I'm back home. And thank you for driving me all the way back. No, get it. She drove us all over that. It was very fine of her. Because I was like, I don't want to go back to the room with Stauffer and Tom. And they're both gonna go to bed and they're gonna be like, Tom has a go. <coughs> this is how they sleep. This is their snoring patterns. They go, That racist white supremacist goat moon you were listening to didn't put you to sleep with it, Tom. Jesus. No, he listens to goat moon. Who doesn't listen to goat moon? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that is, final. man. Goat moon. I'm all about shit. that NSYNC. Ride, ride for ride that in, that in, that in, that in uh, the That NSYNC in 98 Degrees is playing soon. NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, and Boys to Men. Like fucking casting over Valentine. Now. I need to get it too. I need a haircut. <laughs> it's rough. Dude. All right, we're gonna watch some of this vlogger. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I'm gonna import all these files of drone shit. I got a lot of editing to do this week. So hey, if we come back, we come back. If not, uh, stop judging. Start loving. The ass later. Except those are just be yourself. Yeah, and I still got to introduce this vlog, which I'm gonna have to go back and do tomorrow because I never introduced it. But whatever. Yeah, take care. <laughs>